ChatGPT-based autonomous agents are finally here. Gento Automation uses ChatGPT to take our words into real automations. Let me show you. So let us create a simple one here. I want to automate my browser. So here I say go to google.com and search for Anna's Jensen Org. And yes, it is my company name. I then click start. Gento will use ChatGPT to take my words and generate an automation script. Here, that opens up a browser and search for an Jensen Org. And yes, there's a built-in trap in this. We will see how well Gentle Automation handled that. And hint, hint, it does extremely well. So this is only the first time that it will take 20 to 30 seconds. If I'm satisfied with my automation, now it will run. Then I can schedule it. I don't need to compile for 20 to 30 seconds. I can just schedule it to run every night, every Monday, whatever I prefer. Here we run into the first problem. It was not Jens's fault, but it was our own. We told it to go to google.com, it did. And then this pop-up popped up, so it couldn't perform the search. We don't have to do any code. I can just tell it to click Alvis Alle, which is reject all in Danish. So let me just close this again. So here, I will just, in my words again, I'll just say open it browser and then I will say click Alvis oh, L and here I can say that um, I only want to do it if it's present else I don't need to do it so here I'll say if present in the cookie pop up and then I want to do the Google search I can click start again it will compile and yes, this is the automation invention of the year. It's so, so robust. I used uh, tested a lot with my own words. And um, I can also do document processing. I can do automate applications, web pages, Excel databases. I can automate any of my Windows work. I'm an office worker. So that it does extremely well. I can also uh, just use my own English words. I can choose to combine it with code if I want it, but I'm allergic to manual work. I simply just want to automate with my own words. And here we can test if Gen's automation can do this. So now, yes, it did. It click Alvis Alle, and now we search for Anna Jensen Org. We can also say that we want to click the first link in the search result, so we can add that to our script. That could be the next part. So here I will say, uh, click the first search result like this. You saw that I have some commas here, and now I have a dot. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of this. I can, if I'm somewhat somewhat precise, I can just write as I think. And that's the real strange with this. I don't need to write in a certain way like I do with code. Let us just start it here. Then it will start again. And again, this uh, once we're satisfied with the script, we don't need to do these starts anymore. We can just compile it. We now have the script, so we don't have to wait say that we want to schedule it. It could also be each time that I got an email in my inbox, I wanted a certain script to run. Right now we're Googling, Googling ourselves, That's usually not what we want, uh, but admit it, I do it once in a while. And um, then uh, for the more advanced scripts, it, it is nice with triggers either in time or with action, something happening in our inbox or a folder. Let me fast forward over this compile. Now we are performing. So again, we saw this work, but it's nice to see it again. So it will search for Alvis Alle. It uses computer vision to search for Alvis Alle, and it will also search for Anna Jensen Org, all about automation using computer vision. Bingo, this is my web page in a little strange format because it usually looks like this. But yes, that is me. Let's do a more advanced example. And um, let me close this. So let's say that I want to go more advanced with this. Then I can click advanced mode and this is the advanced editor. Here you can see that Genta actually did um, 
made a script for us here, we can uh, say see that it says that it created a variable called google.com. It navigated to the value of that variable. So it's called website. And then it says, if this text exists, I'll be said, then we want to click it. And only that we want to click it. Then we type in an Jensen org. We press enter. We waited one second, it added a static delay. And then we click on the Jensen org and it took the nearest link and click that. So this is our script. And if I want to uh, write more to it, I can easily just do this with code or I can go up here and do the prompting. But let's create a much more advanced solution. And again, I don't want to bother you with this. I just wanted you to show you. To come back to the chat UI, I go to chat UI. Let's create a more advanced example. Here I have an employee onboarding form. This is just a sample page. But I want to fill in for each employee an ID number, login name, first name, last name, email. Then click this radio button, fill in date of birth. Click this, I have read and agreed to the privacy policy. Policy. Click Submit, now it's just an empty one. And then I want to click Add another employee. First, we need some data. Usually, you would have that with your company, but now we're just creating some test data. Gen Automation is also great at that. So here, I'll say Create an Excel file with columns, and then I want the app. ID, that will be the identification number. Then I want a login, F name. And these names are just my preferences for the headers in the Excel. I could choose to make them equal to these ones over here, but for now it's fine. I'll say email, then I'll say gender, and date of birth, maybe just DOB here. And I want to say create three sample employees in this Excel file. MED must be five characters long. Then send this file back to me. I could, and then I can click start. I could choose to just specify where I want to save this Excel file. But for now, I just want Gentle Automation to send the Excel file to me directly. That is another cool feature. So right now, we're just creating the test data. That's the first part of the assignment. The second part will be to fill, uh, read the Excel sheet, iterate to each row, and then have it automatically filled in here. And again, we just use our own words. It's so easy to use. Let me fast forward to it executes. Now it executes. Um, this is quite fast once it executed. So if we just wanted to do this every day, it will take uh, 0.5 seconds. Then we can click Open Results. That will take us to a folder where our employees.xlsx is in. This looks fine. So it has emp ID, login, first name, last name, email, gender, and date of birth. That's what we're going to use. So let me close this and let me just drag it to my desktop. And let me just see that it got there. Here it is. That is just to make it easily accessible. Gentle Automation can access it everywhere on the computer. I will specify to prompt it, but we could also specify the directory where it is. Let me move this one over here. And then let me delete this. And now we're creating an automation to fill in these things on the website. So here I'll say prompt me for an Excel file. Open a browser. And again, we will say this click always just to make sure that um, we will not get stuck on this cookie pop up again. If present in the cookie pop up, then go to, and I have this URL in my clipboard, it's also in the description below. And enter. And then I want to map. So I want to say enter. Amp, was it amp ID? S. And let me just open my browser again. And this one over here. So I can easily do it. So amp ID S identification number. 
login as login name f name as first name l name as last name email as email again my own English words dob as date of birth and here I just specify the labels of these input fields so date of birth there will the dob from excel go in Gentle uses computer vision to detect these. And then I want to say click value from gender. Uh, let's just do this as gender radio button. That is this male or female. Then I want to say then click. I have read and agree. And I don't want to, to fill in the other things Then I can just do an asterisk. That is the star shift and then star. And then I can say this, I want to click there, that's a checkbox. And I want to click the submit button. And then I wanted to click add another employee and click add another employee. So that's it. That will automate uh, our employee onboarding form reading an Excel sheet. It will. Um, it will prompt us for an Excel sheet. And then uh, once that is done, we provided that, then it will start filling in this employee onboarding form. And again, we could have specified a directory for our uh, employees that we want to onboard. That could be new employees. But here I just want to have Jenta prompt it to me. But if we wanted to run it complete autonomous, then yes, we want to have a directory where we just have our Excel sheets in and Jenta could work. So here it says, please upload your Excel file. I click browse. I find my employees.xlsx. I put it on my desktop. Then I click open. I then need to click continue. Then Jenta will open up a browser. And here we can see that this Auvis uh, L is not there. So um, hopefully Jenta will say that this is not present. It did. And now it will start to fill in. So here you can see that it takes the first one, John Doe. We also need to see the radio buttons and the date of birth. I think it takes the date of birth, birth first because we specified that here in the script. So um, it will take a few seconds. There you go. Mail, submit. Then it wants to click at another employee. And that's it. I will fast forward to the end of this. And here, while we are in the uh, third last and last entry, there's a free community version of this Gent automation. I'll create a, I created a guide right up here to show you how to get started with a free version, how to operate it, how to set it up, and then you can easily build your own automation.